Dear friends, this is my tutorial 32. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to do and plot anharmonic Raman spectra using Gaussian and multi WFN softwares. This is the anharmonic Raman spectra of S methyl oxyrene. Before going to do the anharmonic Raman spectra, we have to optimize the S methyl oxyrene. So this is the our uh, folder for N methyl oxyrene. So this is the optimization folder. So just we can see the input file. So this is the input file. We will open with notepad plus plus. So here you can see I have to mention percent chk equal to name of the system then dot chk first line second and third line memory and n pro shared. So here I am using 6 million words second one n pro shared 2. So if you are using Linux based system this may vary based on your Linux configuration. So then we are using B3LYP theory. So this is the general um, root section keywords just you have to add it here. Then you have to do optimization and frequency keyword. So then the first will the system will optimize then following uh, the do the frequency calculation. So then you have to give one space, then you have to mention the name of the system, then you have to give one space, then charge of the your system, total charges of the your system. Then you have to give multi, spin multiplicity. So then you have to give the Cartesian coordinate of S methyl oxyrene. You can draw this S methyl oxyrene using your Gauss view software. It's very easy only. Then uh, you have to give one space. Next, you can add your uh, what are the atom present in your molecule. Then you put zero. So then you have to give the basis set to use to optimize this uh, S methyl oxyrin. So we are using here 631 G star base set for organic molecule. This is enough. Then you have to give four stars. This means end of the basis set. After completion of this input file, just to give some spaces. Enter. It will give, give some space so that means the Gaussian will read that you end up the output file so that's all that's now we can save this file so then we can run uh, using our Windows system so it will optimize within uh, 5 to 10 minutes so because uh, this is very small system so I will show you this structure using uh, Gauss view open your Gauss view So just to drag that uh, GJF file. So this is the S methyl oxyrene. Now you can save this. Uh, if, if you save like this, it will save as a Cartesian coordinates. Just you can see GJF file. It will save as a Cartesian coordinate. Already I saved. Uh, did that uh, geometry optimization. So no need now. So now I will show you the output file for that uh, S methyl oxyrene. So that means this optimized output file open with notepad plus plus so here you can see this is the root section so we are given that uh, b 3 ap theory and optimization frequency so if you go down you will see the normal termination of gaussian 09 that means our system optimized without any error so if you want to see this output file using your gauss view you can also see just to drag that uh, input uh, uh, output file to that Gauss view, you will see the structure. So if you want to see the frequencies and uh, results of this system, we can see. So if you want to see the summary, you can see summary like this. So if you want to see that uh, vibrational frequency, just to click result and go to vibration, you will see the vibrational frequency of uh, this system. So if you want to see vibration, just you can click start. So it will start vibration. Then you can click one by one. You will see the different kind of vibration modes. So that's all. So then we can stop this one. We will close this. So this is actually optimized structure. So we want to use this optimized structure for further anharmonic Raman spectra calculation. So for that, what you have to do? just uh, to save this optimized Cartesian coordinate just to go there file and click uh, save then you can uh, uh, create one new folder 
like uh, Roman mentioned. So we are going to use this optimized Cartesian coordinate for Raman anharmonic Raman calculation. So now you can see different kind of file format is there. It's default it will select .gjf.com file. That's fine. Now you can save it. So this is the our created folder. This is the saved optimized Cartesian coordinate of S-methyl oxidate. So we have to use this uh, Cartesian coordinate to do the anharmonic Raman spectra calculation. So now, now I will show you the anharmonic uh, Raman spectra calculation input files. So this is the anharmonic Raman spectra input file and this is the output file. I will show you the input file now. Open with your notepad plus plus. So this is the input file for uh, Raman, anharmonic Raman calculation. So uh, what we given in that uh, geometry optimization, similarly also you have to give here. So just I given the long name, it's okay. If you want, you can short name, you can also give. So then default uh, what we mentioned in that uh, uh, geometry optimization, similarly you can give the same keyword. Then the theory also you can use same. So this also same. Uh, so we have to use uh, for to get anharmonic Roman, we have to give this keyword. So first you have to type a freak open bracket Roman comma anr. So we, we have to use this keyword in order to get anharmonic Roman spectra. Then you have to give space. Then you have to give uh, the name of the system. Then space. Then similarly the total charges of the system zero only. Spin multiplicity one. So this is the optimized Cartesian coordinates. We have to. Uh, copy this co coordinate from that uh, optimized uh, S-methyl oxidate. Then you have to give one space. Uh, next you can give the what are the atom present in the molecule then put 0. Then uh, default you can use same 631 G star basis set then 4 star. So 4 star means end up the basis set. Then give some space then you can uh, save. You, you can submit this calculation uh, using your Windows or uh, Linux system. This will also complete within one or two hour uh, without any problem. So now I will show you the output file uh, obtained from that Gaussian calculation. We can open this output file with notepad plus plus. So this is the one. So this is the root section for our output file. So if you go down, you will see the normal termination of Gaussian 09 calculation. That means our system optimized without any error. So now we will use this uh, output file to get our anharmonic Raman spectra. So I will tell you how to get that one. So we are going to use multi WFN uh, to get that harmonic Raman spectra. So if you want to download this uh, multi WFN, uh, just visit Google and type download multi WFN. So it will direct to that uh, download page. So there you can uh, see different kind of uh, um, versions. So if you want a uh, Windows version, you can download it. If you want uh, Linux or uh, Mac OS also available. So if you want, you can also download and use it that one. So because I'm here using the Windows version, after downloading, just you can e extract that uh, zip file and you will get this folder like that multi WFN 3.8 and this DEV bin, bin 64. Then you are so now you, we will uh, execute that uh, multi WFN. So we have to double click uh, this one. If you double click, it will open. So just we can double click. So it will open like this. Now we have to uh, press enter. Then only it will show that where to open our folder. Just we can type. So it will uh, small windows like this will open. So now we have to choose our uh, uh, calculation folder path. So I already did uh, several times. That's why it's automatically showing this anharmonic Roman. Just we can uh, select this folder. Then we can uh, choose that output file. It's you see dot out file is there. Just you can uh, click open. So now main function menu of multi WFN will appear here. So here only we have to do step by step. So first what you have to do you have to select 11. 11 means this is the spectrum uh, uh, tag. So just you can type 11 and enter. So now it will ask which spectrum you want to plot. Here several different kind of spectrum is there. 
so if you want to that uh, raman spectra you have to type it two so this is the two is the raman so just you can uh, type two and enter next what you have to do so here you can see recognized as a gaussian output file found anharmonic data so now what we have to do we have to type y because we have to going to do the anharmonic uh, raman spectra for that we have to type y and enter so if you want to load over ten, over tone bond band frequencies just you can if you want you can mention yes otherwise no i don't want just uh, i will type n and enter and also this also i don't want this uh, load can combination of band frequencies that also i don't want just i will mention uh, no n and uh, enter now it will come uh, this page so now we have to set the scaling frequency uh, scaling factor so that is 40 so just we will type uh, 1 4 so here you can see there are 24 frequencies found okay now what you have to do we have to enter so that means we, we, we are selecting the 24 frequencies in total so just you can press one more time enter and it will select uh, all the frequencies now we have to give the scale factor so where to get uh, our scale factor value so I will tell you that easily no problem just to go to Google so here you can see vibration just to type this vibrational frequency scaling factors you will get the first one just click that one cc bdp listing so this is the scaling factor web page so if you see here you can see hf here also you see density functional so we are using b3 lip theory so and uh, 631 gsr basis set so this is the our scaling factor so if you are using different kind of basis set and theory according to like uh, you you have to choose your uh, scaling factor so uh, our scaling factor here is 0 0.960 so here we have to type 0 0.960 then you press enter now next to one more thing uh, we have to do that is uh, 19th so convert roman activities into intensities for that you have to type 19 enter so it will ask that uh, incident light uh, wavelength so basically people will use 532 nanometer this is the visible region in that uh, roman spectroscopy just we can uh, type 532 532 n m that's all enough then you can press enter then it will ask the temperature which temperature you want we want a room temperature only if you enter automatically it will choose the room temperature 298.15 kelvin then we can uh, simply press enter that's all i think we have finished that uh, steps everything now we can see our uh, spectra for that what you have to do just uh, press 0 and enter you can see your anharmonic uh, vibrational uh, raman spectra of uh, your uh, s methyl oxide so this is the one so if you want to save this figure into the same uh, figure format also we can save just we can right click and it will go then what you have to do just you can see number one the save graphic file your current folder just you can type and enter it will save that uh, save that image into the corresponding folder then if you want that x y is that a data set uh, lines you can also uh, save so you, you, you can use uh, this xy data file in uh, origin to plot your uh, anharmonic raman spectra so for that just you type 2 and enter that file also will save into that folder so here you can see 
this uh, two uh, files you can use you uh, use origin to plot uh, the spectra so this is the curve type this is the line type this is i think good you can use this one so this is our uh, our saved uh, the anharmonic uh, round spectra this is the one so thank you for watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for my future video update thank you thank you so much thank you for watching my video enjoy